school children in England are to be taught about domestic violence to try to change attitudes towards abuse. The compulsory lessons for pupils of all ages, which will be introduced in two years' time, are part of a new government strategy to make violence against women and girls unacceptable. Our Home Affairs correspondent, June Kelly, reports. Sabina Akhtar murdered by her husband, who stabbed her through the heart. The authorities admitted they could have done more to protect her. Katie Summers killed by her ex-partner. She too was stabbed. And Cassandra Hasanovic murdered by her estranged husband in front of their two young sons. Cassandra's mother also witnessed the fatal attack on her daughter after years of abuse. Cassie was totally um, exhausted with it all because she just wanted it all to stop. She didn't want to be scared anymore. She didn't want to run anymore. Some women do manage to escape abusive partners. Today, the government launches a wide-ranging strategy to try to stop violence against women and girls in the first place. I think it's very important that we look at this uh, across society as to how we can prevent violence against women and girls by looking at how it occurs in the first place. And some of that is, about, is around social attitudes. And so there will be a big focus on the young. Preventing violence in relationships will become a compulsory part of the school curriculum. It's already on the agenda at this college. For me personally, I mean, I wouldn't get myself involved with somebody like that, but for girls who are in that situation and can't get out, they don't tell anyone. So both sexes will learn about respect. Will young men get the message? If you target it young before people start doing it, then I think, I think it, will, it will stop. So I, th I think it's a brilliant idea to do it, stop it young. Ministers want boys to learn to show respect and girls to expect it. Silhouettes on the banks of the Thames, representing the women who died last year as a result of domestic violence. An illustration of lives lost by the charity Refuge, which helps women who've been abused. Today is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. So a global focus on a massive problem, which is all about trying to change cultures and shift personal attitudes. June Kelly, BBC News, Central London.